when this dies. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to solve an initial value problem. Um, and basically, it's the same thing as particular solutions. So it'll be initial value problems and particular solutions. So in the directions, it says solve the initial value problem explicitly. And in class, I explained to you guys that explicit means y's by itself is um, opposed to implicit, which means x and y are together um, in the equation. So it just means after you get your particular solution, make sure y is solved for. So down here we have dy over dx equals 2 times e to the x minus cosine of x and y equals 3 when x equals 0. And basically what they want you to do is find the particular solution given this initial value. So to get the general solution, first we have to find the antiderivatives of each term. So 2 e to the x, the antiderivative is just 2 e to the x because 2 is a constant, so you don't have to use chain rule or anything like that. And then the antiderivative of cosine is sine, and it's negative, so negative sine of x, like that. Are you going to edit all this out? It just recorded that. <laughs> Um, but are you able to? All right, so the thing that makes it a general solution is to add the plus C. So this is the general solution to the differential that they've given. And they give you the initial value of y equals 3 when x equals 0. And to make it a particular solution, that just means you plug in those x and y's and then solve for the constant, the C value. So plugging in 3 for y and 0 for x would give us this. 3 equals 2 times e to the 0 minus sine of 0 plus c. And e to the 0 is 1. So if I simplify, 2 times 1 is just 2. And then sine of 0 is 0. So I don't have to write anything there. And then just bring down the plus c. So that means that c equals 1. So my general solution is y equals 2 times e to the x minus sine x plus c. My particular solution would be y equals 2 e to the x minus sine of x plus 1. And if we wanted to check our answer, yay, we got it right. So I'm going to give you a minute or two to work on the du over dx problem down here. And then I'll walk through how to do that. Actually, I'm not. You just have to pause the video. I'm just going to solve it. So if you want to solve it on your own, then you pause the video. But I'm going to solve it now because I'm not going to sit here for two minutes or three minutes or however long it takes to solve it. So moving on. The general solution of du over dx equals 7x to 6 minus 3x squared plus 5 um, would be, and this time instead of y equals, it's u equals. Because when I integrate du over dx, I'm left with just u. And then the antiderivative of 7x to the 6th is x to the 7th. The antiderivative of 3x squared is x cubed, bring that down the minus, and then the antiderivative of 5 is 5x, and then don't forget your plus c. That will be your general solution. And then plug in your u and your x values, so 1 equals 1 to the 7th minus 1 cubed plus 5 times 1 plus c, and then simplify 1 to the 7th, 1 cubed, both are 1, and that would be 1 minus 1, which is 0. And then 5 times 1 is 5. So 1 equals 5 plus C. So C equals negative 4. So when I plug it in to get my particular solution, it will be U equals X to the 7th minus X cubed plus 5X minus 4. And let's check our answer. And did we get it right? Yes, we did. So that's how you find the particular solution or solve an initial value problem.